If you don't turn up, I'm eating your cake. Because I'm only bloody giving away a pair of tickets to see Katy Perry. <gasps> would you go? Guarantee you would. Yeah, nearly walking into a bush. Thanks for telling me. Welcome back to Rex Media Rex and another weekly vlog. It's actually Tuesday today because yesterday I had the day off. Um, I had a couple of events over the weekend and I just felt like crap if I'm honest. I woke up in the morning, I felt like I'd been hit by a bus, I was achy, I had such a pounding headache, my throat was sore, I thought oh my god I've got the flu, this is game over. Um, so yeah I took the day for myself. Uh, to try and recoup a little bit which has actually worked wonders because I still feel a little bit ill today I'm not gonna lie to you but I'm feeling a little bit better I managed to get up get dressed wash my hair put some makeup on do all my errands do the weekly vlog which is going live tonight at seven yeah I'm feeling a lot better I'm still drugged up to the eyeballs on cold and flu <laughs> but <coughs> but we're getting there so I've got a Bumble event tonight, which is very exciting. It's why I'm in my Bumble jumper. Just been out to get the balloons and some cupcakes. Oh my goodness. I've got a lady near me who makes amazing cakes. So I got her to make some Bumble cupcakes and they are the cutest thing you've ever seen. I cannot wait to eat them, even though they're a bit too pretty to eat. They've got like little bumblebees. Oh, they're so cute. Um, so yeah, I've got all my balloons and my cupcakes for later. Went out to get the Prosecco, which is currently chilling in the fridge. So yeah, we're doing a manicure masterclass tonight with Blow Limited and uh, there are very limited spaces so if you manage to get one well done you everyone's gonna get free manicures a workshop on how to do the perfect one at home vouchers Prosecco cake the lot so yeah really excited for that so I'm just making myself some dinner I've got some green pea fusellini pasta um, because I saw Lauren eating it and it looked quite nice so I thought I'd give it a go gluten free stuff so um, not that I'm gluten free but I don't know it just looked nice pea pasta so I was like okay I'm gonna give this a go uh, I'm gonna cook some chicken and put some pesto in so it's like really cheap really quick and easy and hopefully will fill me up so I only I'm tempted to eat one cupcake although because I'm not drinking the Prosecco I feel like I might be able to have two cupcakes if people don't turn up if you don't turn up I'm eating your cake home 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 that was really good fun um it went down very well everybody enjoyed it everybody has pretty nails including myself absolutely loved blow limited the girls were so cool um so now i'm gonna get out of my branded wear <laughs> get into pjs and just watch a bit of tv i managed to save myself a cupcake because i didn't have one when i was there i'm gonna make myself a cup of decaf or gray sit down and eat that and watch a bit of tv and then read your comments from the weekly vlog are you getting stroppy because i'm ignoring you yes i'm very happy to see you very excited it's been far too long <laughs> Good morning everybody, what is going on with my hair? I washed this yesterday and it already looks like crap. I think I might have to wash it again. So today I'm on a mission. Uh, we have our Bumble Ghetto Golf event this evening, which I am so excited about. I've been wanting to go to Ghetto Golf, get, get to golf myself for so long. So I'm really excited that we get to go. Um, and Lucy and Matt have both got tickets. <laughs> They're both messing me going really excited for Ghetto Golf, I'm like, are you coming? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we got tickets. <laughs> so yeah, my friends are like nicking all the Bumble stuff, but hey, it's fine, Matt's single, so we can uh, rep the single side, Lucy can rep the BFF side, because I know she uses it a lot. So yeah, we're all, we're all going, yeah, it's all good. Um, sorry, my brain is running at a million miles an hour today. So today I'm filming my favorites video for you guys. Matt has actually just been round to take Toby for the day, because he's an absolute menace when I try and film. And with this one, I'm going to have loads of beauty products around. So yeah, I just need him not stealing stuff as I'm filming it. Healthy lunch today of brown rice and just a chicken breast with some barbecue seasoning on. And that's just going to go in the oven for 20 minutes on 210 or something. I don't know, I might overcook it, but it's better to overcook it than undercook it. And I'm just going to do some uh, frozen vegetables with that. And it's really healthy and nice and fresh. I am still in my PJs, however, I am on an absolute roll. I've just confirmed our first event for Bumble in May, which is a women's only self-defense class. And I am so excited for this one. I hope you guys are gonna be able to make it too. Um, yeah, it's in Birmingham, obviously they're all in Birmingham, but um, if you join the Facebook group, I think the link's in the info bar, you can grab a ticket, but it's gonna be such a good one. I think it's such a perfect event for a women's, 
like um, a women led app, social networking app like Bumble. So yeah, so, so excited for that one. And I have an awesome, awesome singles event in May as well, which is huge. I've been given a really big budget for it and I'm gonna go all out and I'm just, I feel a bit giddy with it. So uh, yeah, if you can make any of the Bumble events, come down there, uh, find the Facebook group link and join in because they're all free and they're just pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself. Do you know what? This doesn't look half bad and if this enables me to have a burger and some sweet potato fries later, then bring it on. <laughs> in other news, you might want to head over to my Instagram account which is at xameliarex and give me a follow on there because I'm only bloody giving away a pair of tickets to see Katy Perry. <gasps> So I've teamed up with Seat Surfer on their Out the Tout campaign to give away a pair of tickets to go and see her on her new tour, which is in multiple locations around the UK. So if you head over to my Instagram account, look for the photo with Katy Perry in. If you find it, follow the instructions in the caption and you might be able to win yourself a pair of tickets. But you're gonna have to be quick because it runs out in, I think about two weeks time. So get entering and best of luck to you guys. Oh my goodness, so excited. Oh my goodness, how's this for a delivery on one of the hottest days of the year? I've just been sent loads of the new Halo Top protein ice creams. We've got the sea salt caramel chocolate one, I've got the cinnamon swirl one and a peanut butter crunch, but they're all in there. I'm gonna give them a go. They're meant to be like super high in protein, 320 calories in this whole tub of ice cream. Let's see if they taste any good. I'm gonna go for the sea salt caramel. This literally couldn't have been better timing. Mm. I never eat ice cream, just cause it's so bad for you. I'm gonna try this one. Oh man, that's sweet. It tastes like, it just, it tastes exactly like caramel. Oh my God, that's amazing. I didn't expect it to have that much flavor in, I'm not gonna lie to you. Mmm, oh my God. It's like super soft, it's like, um, yeah, it's like a frozen yogurt, I suppose. That's really good, but that is a bit too sweet for me. I'm not like a super sweet person. Let's see how chocolatey the chocolate one is. get used to jobs like this. Mmm, okay. The chocolate one's really good. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And it's 320 calories for that whole thing. What would happen if I just sat here and ate the whole thing? Right, we're all ready to go. Very excited for some ghetto golf. The sun is shining, we've just been out for a lovely walk. Oh, it's been incredible. And I filmed my video for you guys. Hopefully it will be okay. I haven't checked the footage yet, but I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. So yeah, feeling good. Just waiting for Matt to arrive. And then we're gonna hop in the car, get the balloons ready. I have the bottle of Prosecco for the person with the highest score. Hoping it's gonna be me. <laughs> can I win my own event? I think I can. Do you know what? My back is <laughs> Lucy's just, if you just joined us, Lucy's talking about her crack. <laughs> <laughs> My back cracked! <laughs> you got a crack Your back, back crack! crack. <laughs> <laughs> crack. <laughs> so we are on the way to the custom factory. I've never been here before, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. And uh, we've all got balloons attached to us, so uh, people will see us coming. Oh my goodness, how cool is it here? morning everybody happy thursday oh my goodness last night was so much fun it was amazing i cannot wait to go back in fact we, we like driving back home and uh, we were like oh my god we have to go back we have to go back so yeah gonna make another trip there very very soon and uh when i can drink go on the train because the cocktails looked amazing oh it was just really good fun loved it so today matt has taken um toby again so i can do the garden because it's his a bit stinky because <laughs> he uses it as his toilet so I'm gonna, I've got a big bucket of disinfectant. I'm gonna go and uh, scrub that essentially, which is well overdue. So I can sit out there this morning and have my tea and coffee and breakfast um, because the sunshine is absolutely glorious. Focus on the sky, look at that. 
Oh my goodness, it's incredible. Apparently we're gonna be hotter than Greece today. We're about 24 degrees, which is unheard of for this country. I am full of cold still, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna power through and spend as much time outside as I can today. In fact, I'm thinking of taking my laptop and going down to um, into town to one of the pubs with a nice beer garden and editing outside in the sunshine. That is my plan. So first things first, bit of manual labor, um, and then I can have my morning coffee outside. So my garden is now nice and clean, it smells nice, and I enjoyed having my coffee outside in the sunshine. It is so warm out there, it's absolutely incredible, I genuinely can't believe it. So I've made an executive decision today, a decision for me, um, and I'm having the day off. <laughs> um, I realised that I spend a lot of my time fighting the stigma that bloggers don't deserve to be where they are, that we don't work hard, that we're lazy, that it's not difficult doing what we do and running our own business and stuff. And I actually forget a lot of the time to enjoy <laughs> where I've got to in my life. I'm sat here with my dream job with the flexibility to take the day off if I want to. And I'm not using it just because I feel like I'm gonna get hate if I dare say that I'm having a day off. But do you know what, to anybody who is sat there now hating me for the decision to take the day off because we're having the one sunny day of the year. I've looked at the weather forecast and it all goes downhill tomorrow so this is our one chance <laughs> for the foreseeable future. If anybody's sat there and hating me for that decision right now, just turn the vlog off right now and go because I want this to be a supportive environment. And do you know what, if your boss came to you today and said, it's really sunny outside, you've been working quite hard. Notice you worked both Saturday and Sunday, and you worked last night quite late. I'm gonna give you the day off, fully paid. And don't worry about it, all your emails, all your jobs, they're gonna be there for you tomorrow. So just take the day off, you can take the day off and just enjoy it. Would you go? Guarantee you would. I'm doing it, my boss has given me the day off. And I'm having the day off, so I am going to pottery painting because I've just seen on their Instagram that um, they have loads of seats outside, so you can go and paint outside in the sunshine. And I'm going to go and paint outside in the sunshine. I've got my summery outfit on. Take a look at this. Woo woo! Pretty skirt from Primark. Little off the shoulder number, so I can get me uh, get me shoulders tanned again. And I'm going to bloody enjoy it. I'm actually really, really excited. I'm like sat here a little bit buzzy. <laughs> so I've decided to do a vase today and I'm gonna be using stencils for the first time, which is a little bit different. So yeah, it might take me a couple of, a couple of goes, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm using stencils for the very first time and I'm gonna do some fern, I cannot see what I'm filming by the way, it's so sunny. Uh, I'm gonna do some fern leaves around it. So we'll see how this goes. I'm like penciling them in, because it's tricky to sort of bend them round. And then I'm gonna paint them. How exciting. most wonderful afternoon ever. I just sat outside in the sun. I definitely picked up some more colour and I painted a vase and it's pretty much, it's coming along quite nicely. Um, Lizzie wanted to go back on Saturday because she didn't finish her cat ball <laughs> last time round. So I thought I'd leave mine there and then like carry it on on Saturday. It's coming along really nicely. I'm doing like a little square thing with some fern leaves on it. Uh, yeah, and I just sat there and I had my tea and I sat in the sun, oh, it was just heavenly, I loved it. So, I'm back home now, I've got pole dancing in like 45 minutes, um, but I kinda don't wanna just sit down and do nothing, so I'm gonna walk into town and have a peruse around Primark maybe, um, see if they've got any like floral dresses, because I loved wearing my little skirt today, see if they've got any cheapo floral dresses. I'm in my gym girl already, so that means I can just walk straight to pole dancing after, and yeah. I need to pick up a sandwich because I haven't actually had any lunch. Really bad. And then this evening, I'm going out for dinner because 
I want to sit in a beer garden, even though I'm not drinking, I want to sit in a beer garden and eat outside al fresco and just make the most of the last little bit of weather because the rain is coming apparently overnight. So yeah, amazing. Seizing the day and not feeling guilty for it. One, one bit, not at all. <laughs> I'm the sweatiest mess ever after that pole dancing class. I think I put something in my eye as well. Oh, it was hot, so hot in the studio. We were doing some really difficult stuff. We were doing thigh things this week. You should see the inside of my thighs. They've gone purple already. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I bruise like an absolute peach. And they've just both prickled up with bruises already. Man, that was hard. I really didn't do that well. <laughs> I managed to do one hold actually. Let me see if I can get a picture. So I managed that hold, which was very difficult. <laughs> and the reason why I now have bruises on the inside of my thighs. Oh my goodness, how these girls do it, I don't know. And our instructor was just like up the top of the pole like a little monkey, Ugh, it was incredible. Anyway, definitely got some in my eye. I think we're going blind. <laughs> Good morning everybody! My arms are killing me today. I've just realised, just stretched and oh, I'm in pain. Um, had pizza last night, it was so good. I had a Leggera pizza, which actually aren't, aren't that bad for you and I didn't have a pudding, I didn't have a starter, so actually I came in within my calories for the day, which is really great. Um, tried to buy a film on Amazon, like Amazon Prime last night on my Fire Stick. I paid £3.50 for Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, old classic. And it just wouldn't even play, it was just so blurry, so I'm just really annoyed. <laughs> I know it's only £3.50, but I'm like, I paid for this, and it's just money down the drain. Anyway, that's a little update on my life. Today, I was supposed to be filming a video with uh, a brand, but the thing that I need to film the video has not turned up. So, I am a little bit stuck, if I'm honest. Um, I emailed them and they were like, oh yeah, sorry, we forgot to post it. Uh, <laughs> kind of need it for the video so I don't really know what to do um, I might because the sun is still shining and it's still really nice and warm outside take the doggo for a big WALK um, and get outside and get some fresh air and then maybe do a little bit of editing later when the sun goes down because I've got nothing going on tonight and uh, I may as well flip my day round and enjoy the sunshine again because I think the rain is coming tomorrow which is very sad so um, yeah I think that's going to be the plan get some lunch maybe stop at a little cafe and um have a cup of tea outside with him at my feet pretty nice friday ah uh, this weather is amazing i feel like i just i don't know i just feel so chilled out and happy when the sun comes out it's unbelievable um it's not as hot as it was yesterday but it's still 20 degrees which is just unheard of in this country it just makes everything better doesn't it when it's sunny anyway um i've had a really lovely day actually um Matt had some free periods at school so we took the dogs out and they did some swimming. I think I, I left my camera in the car but I think I, try, I took some um, footage on my iPhone so I'll try and insert it so you can see him like swimming for this ball. He's so cute. and had a, a, a local ice cream from like a, a local dairy farm and a coffee and just sort of sat in the sunshine and just watched the kids sort of kicking a ball around on the lawn and well, everybody sort of coming out from work and having their beers and it was just it was just so nice just such a simple day and I just bloody loved it absolutely loved it I'm so glad that I've taken the time off these past two days um, I mean today couldn't have been helped because I literally couldn't have done the work that I needed to do but I'm just so glad I took the time and enjoyed this weather while it lasts because tomorrow apparently it's going to be thunderstorming so <laughs> that's going to be fun. Good 
morning everybody happy saturday so it's early today well it's not early but it's early for a saturday who am i wanting to get up on a weekend day um so i'm off pottery painting again um, my friend hot tub lizzie she started a cat bowl the other week when we went in and she didn't finish it so she was like i really want to go back and i've had a stressful week can we go on saturday so i was like yes because i need to finish my vase so um i'm heading up there now I'm running a little bit late traffic is always a nightmare on saturday and i really need a coffee i cannot wait for a coffee and a slice of carrot cake this is gonna take months to finish <laughs> it just takes so long back in the car again doing so much driving um, so the rain hasn't come, um, the sun's come back out and it's 22 degrees so I haven't got any plans this evening so I was just like Matt what are you doing, he really didn't have any plans so I'm heading over to his and we're going to go and sit in this really really cute country pub near him, possibly take the dogs um, and just sit outside and enjoy the last bits of sunshine and then maybe have some dinner at the pub or something I don't know. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd make the most of this lovely spring, which feels like summer evening. Unbelievable. I, I've got a feeling that the weather is going to be hideous tomorrow just to make up for the fact that we've been given one extra day. <laughs> like literally, me and Lizzie were having coffee earlier outside with our like paninis and it started to rain. We were like, oh, we can feel the raindrops. Here comes the rain. And it sort of like pitter pattered down for about five minutes. And now it's back again. The sun's back incredible that was very nice had a lovely dinner and now it's dark and it's still warm outside it's incredible <sighs> back to the flat to go and give doggies lots and lots of cuddles professional vlogger on the go so we're just walking back i'm blind i can't see where i'm going by the way i'm completely blind now <laughs> we're walking back and we've just seen a little hedgehog except it was huge it's like a full-grown hedgehog it's like you in front of me i genuinely cannot see i'm being blinded <laughs> I just see a little hedgehog, I was going to film it, but it scurried away super quick for a kid. No, we're just, breath. I am so out of breath. Is there a slight incline? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were just saying that we, um, we don't often, we don't know a lot about British wildlife. We don't often see stuff like that, even though you think you would, but you just don't. I saw a badger once scurrying up a bush. Am I walking into a bush? Yeah, nearly walking into a bush. Thanks for telling me. I don't know, you're funny. Aren't you? <laughs> Monday today. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday. I was too busy cultivating this giant spot. Uh, I just felt really crap yesterday. I don't know where it came from. I think it's because we've had such a lovely four days of sunshine and warmth and doing loads of stuff with all my friends and then the weather changed. It went cold, the sun went in and no one was around and I just felt so lonely. It was really, really weird. It just kind of came from nowhere and I was kind of having one of those days where I was like, I feel like absolute crap but I just feel that crap that I can't even sort of like muster the energy to reach out to anybody who might make me not feel like crap. Does that make sense? It's just everybody was busy doing their own thing and a couple of friends have had some stuff going on but they'd sort of not come to me like I wasn't their person, they had other people and it just made, it just made me very aware all of a sudden that I wasn't anyone's person. Like nobody saw me as their their go-to. And it just made me feel really freaking lonely. <laughs> and I don't know why. And it just went whoosh, and hit me like cinder bricks. So I'll be honest, I didn't do a lot. I just sat on the sofa and um, caught up on TV and cuddled Toby and ate Chinese takeaway. But hey, I weighed myself this morning and we have put on half a pound this week, which to be fair, considering I've been to the pub for like pub dinners, two times i also went to pizza express i had a chinese takeaway last night i have done a lot of walking actually a lot of walking out in the sun but did have been to the gym i'm all right with that i think sometimes you could become very obsessed with the weight on the scales and i have just 
felt a lot better about my body by doing this dry April and by sort of being more mindful of what I've been eating. Um, that even though we've lost sort of, well it'll be what, four and a half pounds now instead of five. Potato, potato. Um, it's, it feels like a lot more. Does that make sense? Like for how I see my body, I feel like I've lost a lot more. I'm proud. So I have got a week left until I go on my press trip, um, which is very, very exciting. Still haven't got the itinerary yet, so I'll probably wait till next week's vlog to let you in on where I'm going and what we're doing, because even I still don't know. Always at the last minute. <laughs> uh, good old press trips like to keep you on your toes so you've got no idea what you're packing <laughs> um yeah so i've got a week left so i'm just going to take this i was going to say next week but technically it's this week um get a load of work done schedule a load of stuff and just continue eating healthy and being healthy and powering through i'm actually thinking of going to the hairdressers uh I'm gonna say next week, even though it is this week. Next week, because it's just gone like super, super orangey from the sunshine and it's gone really blonde. I like the fact that it's really blonde, but it just feels a bit too raw ah, at the moment. So, <laughs> don't know what raw is. I'm just gonna sit down and be like, right, what do you want to do to me today? Well, can you just make it a bit less raw? That would be great. Yeah, I'm thinking of booking in as a birthday treat for myself to get my hair done, but I didn't know whether to wait until after the press trip so I've got my birthday weekend because it's actually my birthday while I'm on the press trip which is very exciting uh, it's going to be a wicked way to spend a 30th birthday I'm telling you that for nothing um, but it's my actual birthday then so I'm obviously going to get loads of pictures then but then like yeah in about two weeks time is when I'm doing the actual part so it might have I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have a chat with Francesca, see if they can squeeze me in, see what we might be able to do. And uh, yeah, that might be on the to-do list for this week. Anyway, I'm off rambling, four and a half minutes Well, This isn't gonna go in the final edit, which I'm about to go and start now. So yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again no soon, noon. Bye. <laughs> I need to stop painting ceramic animals. It's becoming a bit of a problem. Let's try something new, why not? <laughs> It's not edible, Toby.